Hi, if you've been following me on Twitter and uh, maybe the Amp Hour, you would have probably heard me mention my Rode AI-1 uh, USB audio interface that I've been using for quite a few years now. You know, I've had it for a long time. I never had any issue with it. I thought it was great. But in recent times, um, as in like the last six months, a year maybe, I've had uh, problems. What this thing does is a USB-C interface. It gives me line out, which goes to my uh, studio, my focal studio monitor speakers. And I've got a microphone input, 48 volt phantom power, which goes to my uh, Rode voiceover microphone that I use if I'm, you know, doing the Amp Hour podcast or I'm doing any uh, voiceover work for my videos or whatnot. And then it's got a volume control, it's got headphones as well. I use the headphones for uh, when I'm recording uh, the Amp Hour. And that's all it does is just microphone input, line output and uh, USB. Um, and then it uh, converts to like, you know, a Windows compatible uh, USB interface but I've had problems with it where like just in the middle of recording something the microphone out input will just completely drop or whatever right and I, I don't think it's the actual you know it's not like the microphone input part of it I don't think it's circuitry failing I think it's some sort of like you know USB driver problem resetting the USB um, it, like fixes it now the problem started with uh, using Zencaster for the amp hour which is a web-based uh, you know or like a recording collaboration interview uh, tool that we actually use for recording uh, both ourselves and our guests for the amp hour and um, it, like it used to work just fine but then all of a sudden this road um, interface unit was not compatible with it wouldn't detect it properly and stuff like that even though Windows would detect it and other programs would work uh, just fine and so like it was really annoying I had to revert in a lot of cases to using my old Samson CO1 U, uh, USB uh, microphone just for the um, amp hour but uh, also in recent times, I've had this actually using um, XSplit, I've had this actually drop out during recording, uh, like, you know, screen capture videos and stuff like that, and I've wasted, like, uh, they've been actually ruined, I've had to reshoot entire... Uh, like voiceover uh, screen capture videos because this thing just failed somewhere like in the process and I'm not sure what and no it's not just uh, the XSplit recording software it's actually it happens with uh, OBS and other recording software as well so there's something to do with like the USB interface the driver even though it's supposed to have like a generic Windows driver and stuff like that I've updated the firmware in it anyway I've got completely jack of it um, so I asked on Twitter what is the best replacement and a lot of people um, recommended the Focusrite uh, there's there's like a two input uh, version Version, but this is like uh, the cheaper one which matches uh, the Rode AI-1. This is the um, Scarlett, the Focusrite Scarlett Solo and it does exactly the same thing. Microphone input, 48 volt phantom power, it's got an instrument uh, mic input um, as well, you know, if you're mixing your guitar or your whatnot. And it's got uh, the monitor uh, uh, headphone out, uh, volume control and just um, the 6.5 millimeter quarter inch uh, TRS jacks out and USB-C in. So it's practically identical functionality to the Rode mic. But do you think that Murphy would actually let me get away with simply replacing this with this and not have any issues? No, of course not. So let's have a look at it. Bloody hell. Right, so let's try the Rode AI-1 here. Right, it's uh, connected up to my, here's my editing window, and it's connected up to my focal uh, CMS40 studio monitor speakers, right? And they use a uh, balanced um, 6.5 millimeter quarter inch TRS jack to a balanced uh, XLR input over there. And I play video and it works just fine, as you can hear. And if I stop that, I've actually got my uh, monitor speakers actually um, turned up to absolute uh, maximum here. And it, well, it doesn't matter about the volume. I can turn the I can turn the volume right up there, and I can't hear a thing. I put the microphone closer. Can't hear a thing. So let's simply replace this with the focus right once again it's completely windows uh, compatible didn't have to plug in any drivers or anything like that it just works and it'll auto, it'll auto switch over and here we go there we go i've plugged it in audio about there play 
So let's say there we go. it's out here like this, right? That's our little So it dot works there. just yeah, fine. Everything's hunky dory, except circuit, when I stop mode. it. You probably can't hear that, but let me put the microphone closer. Listen to this. Hopefully you can hear it. Static. Really annoying static. And it's not just random static like that, it's actually correlated to uh, what my CPU is doing in my computer. Let me show you. Alright, so I'll keep the microphone up to the uh, speaker here so you can hear the static now. Listen. Okay, now watch this scrubber bar. You can hear me scrubbing across there like that. And if I render, listen to the difference. Listen to this. Can you hear that? And let me cancel it. And it goes back to normal. There you go. It is correlated. The noise is correlated to what my CPU is doing. And my Rode AI-1 doesn't do this at all. It's like if I turn my studio monitors completely up like I've got now, I can just faintly hear the Rode one doing it. But this one, focus right at, at normal volume levels is so loud, it's, it's incredibly annoying. It may not show up on camera, but I can't sit here with my volume control sitting there doing nothing and then just like have that amount of noise. But if there's audio going through it, you know, it sort of like uh, swamps it all out. But um, no, I can't sit there. It's annoying. And no, it's got nothing to do with the uh, with the actual setting of the volume control makes no difference. The microphone line inputs make no difference. Turning on fan and power makes no difference. It has to be coupled from uh, the USB input here. Now, I've actually um, tried the same thing. I actually uh, swapped USB ports here so I use an entirely different one does exactly the same thing I've tried ferrite clamps on the cables does exactly the same thing I've tried using a uh, common mode choke on the mains input for my speakers makes no difference and then I discovered doll oh, Dave you dumbass that's right um, <laughs> you're using unbalanced uh, quarter inch TRS jacks here um, because there's only the two pins so that's uh, converting uh, the both the focus right and the road have balanced output so you're actually uh, converting the balance the nice balanced outputs here and uh, so I've got uh, these cables are um, uh, quarter inch to XLR inputs and the XLR inputs on the studio uh, monitors they're balanced so ah oh, that's got to be the problem and yep, of course, if I put in a proper balance lead, as you can see here, I've got the uh, three pins there. So you've got the ground and then uh, the two balanced uh, outputs like that. It works just fine. I, can't, I don't get any of the uh, conducted mode uh, noise at all. But I'll, I'll just demonstrate what happens when you unbalance it like this. So what I've got on there is just a uh, three and a half um, mil uh, converter jack on there. That just extends the ground out. So what I can do is ground the um the either of these uh balanced outputs have a listen there you go so th that's the tip get the same conductor mode noise we did before and if i ground the other side of the balanced you get exactly the same thing and of course that's what you're doing with that mono one i had before it was shorting these two out so it was shorting that balanced output there uh to ground and as you can see if you short either of those to ground that's what causes the problem and if you short ground to ground it's that's not an issue but of course that doesn't actually uh explain why the focus right does this and the road doesn't now to be fair i was actually using uh times 10 db gain there's a switch on the back of my focal monitors was actually using the highest gain plus 10 db uh gain on there and uh when i had my volume at three quarters that's where i've always operated them at 
just because, I don't know, it seemed to work uh, just fine. And well, the Focusrite has this conducted mode USB noise problem, but the Rode didn't under exactly the same configurations. Now, uh, to get to the bottom of that, of course, you'd have to reverse engineer the schematic, have the schematic, uh, have the PCB, you know, analyze the PCB layout, everything to try and figure out why uh, we're getting conducted mode noise through the USB and then that's making it. If you unbalance one of the outputs, why that comes through and things like that. So to be fair though, if I actually uh, switch this uh, switch on the back here to zero dB, there's actually a minus 10 uh, as well. If I switch it to zero dB and then I turn the volume down to about halfway, something, you know, halfway, something like that, then uh, you can't hear it. So even if you unbalance it, so it's not a problem. So, well, you know, <laughs> but you should be using proper balance leads. I just never was because, well, uh, I didn't need to, I should have, but I didn't have them at the time when I had my road. Um, so yeah, but now I've got uh, balanced leads for it and that just solves uh, the problem. So no, uh, no worries whatsoever, but it is actually uh, does it does have an issue on the focus right compared to the road in that respect on unbalanced outputs. But unbelievable, this thing is actually not suitable for my purposes. I just discovered, I didn't know this, but I just discovered that if you plug the headphones in to here, it does not mute the monitor outputs. It, it just like, <laughs> whereas the road did that, the road did that. It muted it. And of course, that's what you want when you're like recording a podcast, you're doing a Zoom call, you're doing whatever, right? Um, now I'm recording my amp hour radio show. I, when I plug my headphones in here, the reason I plug my headphones in is not to hear myself. It's got nothing to do with the direct monitor thing, which uh, it brings the mic through to that. I, I never use that. I hate hearing my own uh, voice from the microphone in my own headphones. It's to hear the other person without their voice coming through the speakers and then feeding back to the microphone, which causes all sorts of issues. You want this to automatically mute the output. So uh, the Focusrite doesn't do it. So in this respect, it is not a direct replacement for the Rode AI-1. Now, I can probably understand why you want to do this. If, you know, this is designed for like instrument recording. You plug your guitar in there here. You know, you turn on this button for your air, you know, if you're using an air guitar. Huh. Anyway, here a week. Um, and you plug your mic in and then you want it to come through the speakers, but you also want it to like come into your headphones. So you, I don't know, you're listening to the exact mix, but it's coming through the speakers at the same time so someone else can hear it. But I, I have no, absolute no use for that. So for my needs, that is, uh, the focus right is absolutely useless. I, I have to turn off my speakers manually every time I want to plug in the headphones just to mute the speakers out. So that's, unless there's some ability to reprogram this in, you know, I don't know, via the USB or something, then I, I don't know. If you do know about that, leave the comments down below. Otherwise, this thing is absolutely useless for my needs. Unbelievable. Catch you next time.